Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Science Query. I'm your host Dr. Asha and in this video I'm going to talk about metals and non-metals. Let us first see an overview of the topic before going into details. So I'm going to cover what are metals, physical properties and chemical properties of metals, use of metals, what are non-metals, physical and chemical properties of non-metals and use of non-metals. Now let us see what are metals? Metals are those elements that are hard, strong in nature. These are capable of bright, shiny and light reflection. Relatively heavy in weight, produces a metallic sound when hit, produces alkaline oxides when reacts. Next, let us see the physical properties of metals in detail. The first property of metal is the hardness. Metals are hard and strong in nature. But some metals are also soft, like sodium, potassium and lithium. These metals are known as alkali metals. Alkali metals are very soft and can be cut with a knife. And when react, it usually produces alkaline oxide. Next property of metal is metallic luster that is its ability to reflect light from the surface. Metals are bright and shiny in nature. The property of metal having a shiny surface is called metallic luster. Therefore, they are used for making jewelries. The next one is the sonority. That is the ability to produce metallic sound when hit. Another property of metal is malleability. Malleability is an important characteristic of metal. Most of the metals are malleable in nature. That is, metals can be beaten into thin sheets with a hammer. Because of this malleable property, iron is used in making big ships. Another physical property of metal is its strength. Most of the metals are strong and have high tensile strength. Some of the metals are not strong such as sodium, potassium, etc. The next property is the ductility. Ductility is another important property of metal. Metals are ductile, it can be drawn into wires. But all the metals are not equally ductile, like some metals are more ductile than the other. For example, copper and aluminum metals are more ductile. Iron and magnesium are quite ductile, but gold is the most ductile metal. Another property of metal is density. Metals are relatively heavy in nature. Metals have high density and are very heavy. Like iridium and osmium, they have the high density among all the metal. Lithium have the lowest density among all the metal. Now the next important property of metal is conduction. Metals are good conduction of heat and electricity. Electric wires are made up of metals like copper and aluminium. Next physical property is the melting and boiling point of metal. Metals have high melting points and high boiling point. For example, tungsten has the highest melting point and silver has the lowest boiling point. Next important physical property of the metal is the physical state of metal. Metals are solid at room temperature. Examples of solid metal at room temperature are iron, copper, aluminium and silver. Mercury is the only metal that is liquid at room temperature. Now let us see some of the common examples of metals like silver, gold, copper, platinum, zinc, iron, aluminium, mercury and lead. Now let us see the chemical properties of metals. The first chemical properties of metals is the reaction of metals with oxygen. Metals when react with oxygen forms metal oxide. For example, sodium metal when reacts with oxygen it forms sodium oxide. Another example is Potassium, when reacts with oxygen, forms potassium oxide. Another chemical property of metal is the reaction of metals with water to form hydroxide. Metals, when react with water, forms metal hydroxide plus hydrogen gas. For example, sodium, when reacts with water, 
forms sodium hydroxide and hydrogen gas. Another example is the reaction of calcium with water. Calcium when reacts with water forms calcium hydroxide plus hydrogen gas. Next chemical property is the reaction of metal with dilute acid. Metal salts and hydrogen gases are formed when the metal reacts with dilute acid. For example, when zinc reacts with dilute hydrochloric acid, it forms zinc chloride plus hydrogen gas. Now let us see the reaction of metals with salt solution. More reactive metals displaces the less reactive metals from its salt. This type of reaction is known as the displacement reaction. For example, iron when reacts with copper sulfate solution, iron displaces the copper and forms iron sulfate solution and release the copper. Now next chemical property is a reaction of metals with chlorine. Metals react with chlorine and form ionic chlorides. For example, sodium react with chlorine forms sodium chloride. Next is the use of metal in our day to day life. For example, mercury is used in thermometer to check the temperature. Aluminium and steel are used as an utensils. Gold, silver, platinum are used for jewelries and ornaments. Iron is used in automobiles. Iron and steels are used for construction purposes also. Now the next section is what are non-metals. Non-metals are the elements that have three properties of matter that is solid, liquid and gas. Non-metals are neither bright nor shiny. They cannot reflect the light and are lightweight. Non-metals cannot conduct heat and electricity. Let us see some of the examples of non-metals like hydrogen, carbon, chlorine and nitrogen. Now let us see some of the physical properties of non-metals. First physical property is the hardness. Most of the non-metals are generally soft except one non-metal carbon in the form of diamond is very hard. Another property is the conduction. Most of the non-metals cannot conduct heat and electricity except graphite and carbon. Next property is the melting and boiling point of non-metals. Non-metals have low melting points and boiling point. But diamond has high melting point and boiling points. The melting point of diamond is however more than 3500 degree which is very high. Next property is about the luster of non-metal. Non-metals do not have luster. It means non-metals do not have a shining surface. For example, sulfur and phosphorus have not lustered. But iodine is a non-metal which has a shining surface. Now let us see about the density of non-metals. Non-metals have low densities, hence are light. Example is sulphur. The ductility and malleability of non-metal is very low or non-metals are neither malleable nor ductile at all. This means that non-metals are brittle and break into pieces when hammered or stretched. Now the next property is about the sonority. Non-metals are non-sonorous. They do not produce sound when they are hit by other objects. Now let us see the physical states of non-metals. Non-metals are solids, liquids and gases at room temperature. Now let us check the strength of a non-metal. Non-metals are not strong. Another physical property is the color. Non-metals have many different color. For example, Sulfur is yellow, phosphorus is red, graphite is black and hydrogen and oxygen are colorless. After physical property, let us check some of the chemical properties of non-metal. First is the reaction of non-metal with oxygen. Non-metals when react with oxygen forms oxide. Like carbon when react with oxygen form carbon dioxide. Sulfur when react with oxygen forms sulfur oxide. Sulfur catches fire when exposed to air. The next chemical property is to see how non-metals behaves with water. 
non metals do not react with water to evolve hydrogen gas this is because non metals cannot give electrons to reduce the hydrogen ions of water into hydrogen gas the third chemical property of non metal is the reaction of non metal with dilute acid non metals do not react with dilute acid fourth chemical property is the reaction of metals with salt solution a more reactive non metal displaces a less reactive non metal from its salt solution chlorine reacts with solution of sodium bromide which results into sodium chloride and bromine the next is the reaction of non metal with chlorine non metals react with chlorine and form chloride hydrogen reacts with chlorine forming hydrogen chloride sixth chemical reaction is the reaction of non metal with hydrogen non metal reacts with hydrogen and form hydride for example hydrogen reacts with sulfur to form hydrogen sulfide now let us see the use of non metals oxygen is used as a portable oxygen concentrator in hospitals chlorine is used for purifying water nitrogen is used by plants graphite is used in making lids of the pencil carbon is used as a fuel diamond is used in industries for cutting glasses well that is all about metals and non metals and their physical and chemical properties if you like my video then please subscribe my channel science query and please like share and comment thank you